back everyone my name is chas and welcome to wordish.com and today i'm talking about the last 40 day strategy for both frm part one and part two as well so let's get into it so the very first thing that i would talk about is that we are standing here at today 6th of july so what do you need to do anything that is pending let's say if i talk about frm part one if your swaps are pending if your duration convexity whatever chapter is pending try to complete that similarly for part two whatever topics or chapters that are pending try to complete that as soon as possible this is the time to speed up right we just have 35 40 days left for the exam and we need to put in more hours and we just need to stretch for about a month or so so this is the time anything that is pending up to now i would highly suggest you that go ahead and pick it up pick up the speed and just get going if you've already completed that that is excellent uh, ahead of the pack now if you want to speed up if you haven't done well i would highly recommend the crash course for either part one or part two whatever things that are pending you can complete that at a very faster pace so you can definitely consider that and that's going to help you in the last few days of the exam as well so definitely crash course is something that i would highly recommend i would suggest you that okay by 13th of july you should begin with your mocks yes we don't have to wait till the first of august and then barely have almost seven eight days to solve three to five mocks and then no time for analysis and if the score is bad at the end we're going to have some sort of a panic kind of a situation so my suggestion is that 13th of july that is a perfect time that you can actually begin your mock if you have already done your prep if you have done with the reading everything i would say that start either today which is saturday or maybe tomorrow which is sunday start to give at least one mock see when you give a mock exam you get to know a lot of things you get to know about time management you get to know about the pattern of the exam and most importantly up until now you've been doing the book wise questions or maybe chapter wise questions right frm exam is all about mixed up questions the the questions can come from any of the books at any point in time so when you solve the mock exam you really have to figure out which question is from which particular book so on and so forth so that in itself is a challenge and i want you to get comfortable early on so that you get more and more used to it and on the actual exam you can actually perform better so yes i have tentatively i've marked the date as 13th of july ideally you should start tomorrow if you have done that at least one mock that's going to be excellent so even if i say this thing let's let's pictureize this thing so today or tomorrow you're solving one mock then again the next sunday you're solving another one and then you solve here and then the fourth uh sunday or saturday or sunday for this particular month that way you've given yourself ample amount of time to revise in between the mocks and you can work and you can accelerate your prep for each mock so moving on within this particular time frame you not only solve the mocks but you also do your revision uh obviously between every mock you will obviously revise the entire curriculum right and that's where if you have the uh, revision notes or a crash course notes that's going to help you to speed up here in this particular case as well you solve other plenty of questions as well you review the chapter wise questions you review some book wise uh, questions as well all the things so this is a major chunk of time that you need to devote until the 5th of august now from the 5th of august i do not want you to just go to a new chapter new question nothing don't solve mock it does not make sense so these four days what you need to do is you need to focus on the revision and review guys this is all that it takes this is a review stage ideally from 1st of august till the till the 8th you should be doing reviewing of the material because it's about retention and especially for part 2 we have 100 chapters let me give you this thing that part 2 is not difficult rather it's very lengthy retaining such a large amount of information can be a huge huge challenge so at least we need to spend few days before the exam so that we review what we have learned probably we go through the important formulas 
we go to an important question that we really like so on and so forth now i've got some general tips for you so that you can go through it and these are the pointers that will help you in your prep the first one is that cover at least 90 percent of everything let's say you are a part one candidate and you do not understand duration convexity very well so what you can do is you can at least look what duration is what convexity is maybe the hedging using the duration convexity can be a little difficult but at least if you have a good idea on the exam you can filter out the options and probably you can increase the chance of getting a right answer so at least have 90 percent conceptual knowledge about every topic that's really going to be helpful and that can help you enough similarly for part two we can have different topics at least get a high level view so that on the exam you can at least attempt the particular question the second point that i would say is that right now have a separate diary or a book and that is specifically dedicated to the mistakes that you do throughout the the next 40 days it's really important whatever mistakes that you did in the mock write it down whatever mistakes that you did in a particular question write it down so this diary of mistakes can help you and and then you can review that maybe in the month of august you can start reviewing your mistakes because whatever mistakes that we do we retain it for a longer period of time another thing is that you can bookmark or just create a book wherein you bookmark all the tricky questions and you review it later then we can write down the important formulas yes writing it down actually increases the retention because on the exam i've seen some candidates they forget the formula on the exam day so it's better that you just write down and then finally have a revision plan it becomes really difficult especially with schweizer book that you cannot revise it at a very fast pace when you look at the pile of books it becomes difficult to to begin with and to complete the entire revision in a very short span of time so again as i said the crash course we provide the crash course revision notes as well that can help you to revise the entire curriculum in just about 300 to 350 pages so have your revision plan and make sure this is really important that solve at least four to five mocks this is very very important two mocks is something that you get uh within the garp dashboard you can check that out you have two mocks and then you can supplement this with another three to four mocks and that would be it at least make sure that you do not neglect mocks so it's really important that we begin early and we end up in a better situation that being said so if you do have any comments uh, make sure that you just put down in the comments and i'll see you in the next video thank you so much